Hello everybody and welcome back to some more of our FM19 journeyman in charge of FF Yaro, still in the Finnish Premier League. Having a second go of it and we're here for games 3 and 4. So, in our first episode, we picked up a loss, we picked up a win and it, was, it wasn't a bad time out really. Three points in two games, better than last season it's got to be said. But, well, these two games today, a lot could determine... You know, a lot of the season could come down to games like this, where we're playing sort of the middle of the pack teams, teams like Ilves, teams like Rops. These are the sort of games we really need to be putting putting a stamp on and, you know, putting in some good performances. Going out there with exactly the same team, you'll see we've got a lot of yellow card warnings already. Thomas Eriksson, Sherwin Sadoff and Herman, all, all with one of those to their names. So hopefully that doesn't play too much of an effect. We're sticking with Felix Chenkum starting. Um, He's not been great so far. He's... He's got a little bit of match sharpness issues. I'm hoping once he overcomes those, he can be back to his usual self. But for now, he's not been the best he could have been. We've seen better from him, certainly. So I'm hoping today he can sort of, you know, be the player who we know. The player who's been so good for us these past couple of seasons. They've got a corner here. They're looking to put this towards the back post. Katunin snatches that out of the air with ease after they try and head it towards him. It looks like the highlight's going to continue, though. And Lindahl, currently on the ball... There's a chance maybe for us to build something, if we can maybe try and work it down one of the flanks, uh, particularly his left side, with Show and Sadov. Eriksson tries to give it to him, manages to snatch the ball after it was cut loose, and well, he plays a good one. Oh, can't quite get there, but Atakai, oh no, he gets wiped out. Chenkum snatches it though. They keep putting in tackles, but we're on every single second ball, and it's brilliant to see. It's something we struggled with in the past, but Atakai is on it, goes for goal, but it's saved. It was a good chance there, and we just couldn't... We just couldn't quite get the last bit on it, but it's great to see us fighting for these second balls because it's an area we've really struggled with in the past as well. The highlight is still going on. Nermos is on it. I wonder if this is just going to fade out, but it does seem to have been Malolo on this left-hand side. Puts in a cross. It gets, well, it gets knocked out. It goes for a throw-in in the end. Um, It was all right there. I think we showed a good bit of fight to try and want that. You know, we didn't just give up when the ball slipped away from us. And that, all around, is a good sign. They've got a goal kick here, and you can see the rain pouring down. Um, it's very annoying, to be honest. It just looks like my screen's broken. But they're coming forward down this right-hand side. We're putting the pressure on well, though. Sadov dropping very far back to help defend there. But, well, if we can maybe try and snatch this, it'd be lovely to have a counter-attack. But so far, they're looking very, very confident on the ball. As they try to play one forward, Herman cuts it out, but it just falls to them. And they reclaim possession. They're still pressuring, still coming forward. And, well, they're getting closer and closer to our box. We're doing a good job... Good job of keeping them outside it so far, but... Oh, they found a bit of space. They just turned past our defender. It was just a little bit of a mix-up in defence there, and they managed to put away a very good shot from outside the box. There's a lot of goals from outside the box. It's, um... Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm wondering whether it's a thing with the game at this point, because there's a lot of goals from outside the box, and I've seen on other people's saves as well. There's a lot of goals from outside the box. Um, but that one, I mean, yeah, it was just a bit of a mix-up in defence. We dropped pressure on a player for a couple of seconds and he used that to create a bit of space and get a shot away. There's a corner here and they've just headed it over the bar. Whether that's going to end the highlight, it did, but we are seeing a goal kick for us. Uh, a highlight for us, you know, a goal before half-time could be crucial come, well, in the outcome of this game. Getting something just on the edge would be lovely, but... We were taking our time with it. It's what we want to see. We want to see this patient build-up like we've had in the past to other teams rather than just giving it away, rather than just wasting it. You know, long balls have their time and place, but you can't just do them all the time, otherwise you're just going to turn over possession too much. So, speaking of turning over possession... Oh, we missed. Okay. I don't know how we missed, but he missed, and we got absolutely gifted there. So did they, to be fair. That was the easiest chance they will ever have because we put it on a plate for them. But... Well, it's only 1-0, but you can see here, we've had most of the possession, but we've done nothing with it. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but we're not seeing too many of our chances either. So I'm just going to say it's unlucky, I think. And yeah, we're gaining confidence. We've had a lot of the ball. I think we just need to try and carve something out with it. But things don't change soon. You know, we'll make some of the standard changes, Oman and Yukon, and, and see what we can do. And actually, I think Oman's going to come on now, because Chenkum's having another poor game. And, well... Ormanen's begging for a starting spot at this point, to be honest, but is that the only change I make for now? I think it is. I just want to see how we perform with him on the pitch for 10-15 minutes. Then we'll look at another change. So we're 68 minutes in and just nothing is going on. So I think I'm going to bring on Oscar Yakonen. 
Um, Villamaline, Moylanen, Moylanen, that's not that hard of a name to say, is the other option, because Sadoff, a little bit off of his normal self today, he's having a poor game, but, well, same goes for Thomas Erickson, actually, he's having, again, a poor game. I think I'm going to bring on Peterson for Thomas Erickson, we've not seen him yet. Let's bring him on, let's put him out there. Let's see what he can do, let's see how he can contribute to the team. And hopefully he can have a positive effect, you know, we really need him to have one right now. They've got a free kick here. Taylor's going to take. If we can head clear, then we might be able to counter-attack. But no, they managed to put it over the bar. It's it's not looking good here. As time's absolutely flying by. Let's see if we can get a shout in before the game ends. Um, it didn't do too much because there's just so little time left. We have a, a free kick. Herman strikes. Goes close. It goes just wide. But hold on, there's a throw in here. 50 seconds left. The game is not over yet. As well, we... Why, why is that a highlight? Why include that? That just got my hopes up for no reason. That maybe, oh, we'll be able to craft something in 20 seconds and then... Oh, ref, come on, that was longer than six. Oh my, why is this a highlight? I know it's the end of the game, but why is the end of game highlight 50 seconds long? You, we could have played a match in that time. Oh, it's a joke. It's a 1-0 defeat. It's disappointing. There's no other word for it. And we didn't see much all game. There was... A, there was barely anything in the second half, but it was just a quiet game. I'm going to say I'm not happy with the result because we need to be picking up at least something from games like that. Games where we have a lot of the ball and they don't really create too much. We need to be at least creating chances. We need to at least be putting the pressure on. And we just didn't. Not as much as I would have liked anyway. It's a, it's a disappointing defeat, to be honest. And, well, it leaves us in a bit of an awkward position. But who have we got coming up? We've got Rops. They're currently on four points. So there's only one ahead of us. A decent chance here that we might be able to do something. Let's find out if we can. So, here we are for the game against Rops. And just a little bit of news to bring you. Our backup goalkeeper last season, who was our third choice this season, Johani Pananen, has gone out on loan. He's gone out to VPS, I believe? Uh, oh, no, VIFK. VIFK, he's gone there. Uh, they needed a keeper. We had one we don't need. Get him loaned out. Get him playing. He's not sat there complaining about a lack of game time all season. Makes sense to me. So... Let's go into this next game. Now, the other change is I am starting Ulmanen, who is, well, he's not having a great season so far. I'm not going to try and sugarcoat it, but he's doing a right side better than uh, than than Chenkum is. So we're going to put him out there. We're just going to give Chenkum maybe not even a game. Just like we're just going to drop him from a starting position and bring him on off the bench and see if we can get something from him. But for now, everything else is remaining the same. At defence, playing quite well. We're not doing too badly in that regard. We just need to shore things up just as a system, as a sort of chance creation engine. We're just struggling. So they've got the same formation as us. We're going to smash it. It's going to be fine. It's going to be absolutely A-OK. -okay. Uh, yeah, avenge what happened last time. Oh, they love that. Oh, they're, they're big fans of that. Oh, I never get good pre-game team talks. I, I get so excited when I do because it just doesn't happen. So, ah, that's a great start. They've got a goal kick here. Mateus Donelli's going to take it. Pumps it up. Can we maybe win this ball? Well, we tried. All back. Seem to... Oh, sorry, Alak, not all back. Seem to go in for something there. And he looks like he's got himself sent off. The first highlight of the game is them getting a red card. I'm not quite sure how that one works. But, yeah, Alak has been sent off for them. I said all back because he used to play for us. And I just got a bit confused. But, before half time, it doesn't look like we're going to have a chance to snatch anything. And, hmm. It's, it's nil nil. But we've got a man up. So... In theory, it's going all right, but Jesus, HJK are absolutely smashing Hong Grand SJK to cups. What's going on? Um, goals everywhere, apart from in our game. So, let's say we've been the better team. Keep oh, ooh, that wasn't great. Um, yeah, not not a great response from that. Let's let's get out to the second half. By the way, yeah, I've clocked it. Show us Adolf's picked up his third yellow card of the season, so he's going to be suspended for next game, which is odd for an attacker and also very annoying for one of our better players. Well, I was just about to make a change. I paused the game and then a highlight started and they've got a throw in. And, well, I'm going to wait until after this finishes, but then we are going to change something unless the scoreline changes. Then we might reconsider. But so far, they're on the ball. Now, they are obviously a man down, but, well, it doesn't mean they can't score a goal. As they go down this right-hand side, they put in a cross towards the back post. Katoonan keeps it out. Barely. Nermos clears. And, yeah, I think a change is going to be made. I think with them being a man down, we want to put the pressure on. So we're going to bring on Chenko as a pressing forward on attack. And, you know, just try and properly force them into an area. You know, they've got less options. 
So realistically, pressing should be a good idea, in theory. Um, theory is a funny thing, though. It doesn't always work. So the question is, if I want to make another one, I think I might go with Moilan and, you know, for Seidorf. I'm just going to go for that change and, well, just see if it can, just see if you can impress, see if you can have an impact on this game. Ten minutes left and I'm going to move us to a more attacking system and see if we can get anything from that. I think the other option is I'm going to be on Yeri Hiltun and move him up a little bit as a central midfielder on attack. And just properly push at them for the last ten minutes. See if we can snatch a winner here. And, well, we've not seen Hiltun in all season. Very, very good player. Let's see if he can have an impact. Five minutes to go. They've got a corner. That's not going to be a good sign as well. We clear it just about. They're messing around with the ball out here. Can we maybe win it back? Can we maybe force an error? Get a turnover? As well, Chenkum goes out, nicks it. And we are in possession. He plays it forward. Atakai sprinting at the keeper. He's on the ball. He's going to strike. It's saved easily. The angle was way too tight. We've got a corner from it. But, well, there's only minutes left. They've been on ten men for most of the game. If we don't get something from this, it'll be disappointing, to say the least, as the corner comes to nothing, as they always do. Still a couple of minutes to go, and still added time, but right now, things are not looking too great. And, well, it looks as if this is going to be a nil-nil draw, which, I mean, it's a point on the board, don't get me wrong, but I can't help but feel we could have done more from this, and... Well, I'm thinking maybe a tactical little switch-up is needed. Nothing drastic, but maybe we should be going at teams a little bit more, you know? We're not seeing anywhere near as many chances as we were even last season when we were struggling. We were still scoring goals. So I'm going to say I'm not happy with your performance due to the fact they had 10 men and we need to be putting in better performances. Than we need to be winning games like that. We do. We need to be winning games against 10 men. I don't think that's a ridiculous statement to make in the slightest. We're out of the relegation zone. At least we're not in there, so it's a good sign. But it does seem like we've just flicked, flipped our strengths and weaknesses. We're conceding far fewer than we were last season. But we're also scoring far less. And, you know, I mean, on the one hand, conceding less goals is good. But on the other hand, you can't win a game if you don't score. So, it's not great. We actually didn't score this entire episode. Oh, that's not good. But yeah, I'm going to take a quick look at the team before the next episode. And um, there might be a couple of small changes, nothing drastic, like I said, but just something minor. So, until then, we're going to wrap this video up here. Thank you all very much for watching. Tomorrow's video will contain the next two games, and that will be up at 5.30. Or you can subscribe to get it into your feed, whichever you prefer. Follow me on Twitter, I tweet all the videos out when they go up. Join the Discord, I put little notification thingies in there, they're great. Um, plus, I want to have more people in the Discord, it'd be kind of nice, so join the Discord. But yeah, have a wonderful night. I hope you've all enjoyed this video. Goodbye. Sorry, I know I've already done my outro, but I was just going towards the next game and this happened, right? So they asked me how big of a moment was Serge Atakai's late miss. I said I can't place too much blame on him when the whole team were below par. That's somehow been spun to the headline, Abbott, we deserved to win. What? At no point were those words said. Even in Football Manager, the press are just liars. They just make it up. This is the most realistic thing in this game.